Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming and bring you another game review. This time we're checking out Lawn Mowing Simulator. This game is developed by Skyhook Games, published by Curve Digital, and releases on August 10th, 2021 for the Xbox Series X and S. It's a simulation mowing style game. Sorry, at the time of recording this, we don't have a price for the game, so I'll kind of give you my ideas at the end on what I think would be honestly a good price for the game based on what all's here. So currently I'm have my gameplay we're going to load in and i'm going to talk a little bit about and show you what all's available in the game um named it in-depth mowing as a kind of play on words on the channel thought that'd be kind of fun you can have three different play sets um i will call this out a little bit i have done some challenges just not on my main account um there are tons of different little like mowing-esque challenges where you can try to do sp specific yards and challenge things like that from having only a certain amount of time or limited fuel to try to complete those. But the main meat and potatoes of the game is the career mode. And now I know how it sounds on paper, a lawn mowing simulating game. Who in the world wants to play that on Xbox? Who has time for this? I'm the exact person that was saying that when this game first was, you know, kind of sent to us and I heard about it a couple months back with E3 and everything. And I was like, who in the world wants to mow lawn on Xbox? And I have been playing this game for close to 12 hours now and I want to mow lawns on Xbox. That being said, so what is this game? There's a t ton of in-depth stuff where you run your own mowing company, you're going to be able to hire staff, manage the equipment you have, change your resource buildings, take contracts, and do a wide variety of things. So just here on this first HQ section, you have options to upgrade your building with your funds, change into different buildings that will allow additional capacity for more mowers and more employees, advertising that can help spread the awareness of your business and bring in better jobs for you. You can edit your company customization wise, you can kind of edit your logo and name. And then player wise, you know, you get all kinds of neat little customizational abilities with how your guy looks. So you can really make it you know exactly how you want now contracts tab you're going to be given a wide variety of contracts that are going to be offered to you what's cool about all these contracts is you can go in and the game will give you quoted times on what it takes to do certain tasks and you can assign either yourself or your employees to complete those jobs so when you first start out you're going to be by yourself you kind of have to do every single task in the game on your own and that's really not an option that you're going to get to sway away from very much because the game wants you to, you know, knock out all these, you know, special little asks. But you can send out your employees as you get them uh, to do jobs for you that are going to be over time make things just a little easier on you and allow you to be a lot more efficient with your time. Now, what's really nice about all these things is you're going to have tons of customizations from the employees that you hire through application systems to training your employees to make them just better at their job managing the money that you have and allowing them to bring you in more money in return you're going to have that full employment aspect of the game now as far as the mowers and everything here you have to manage everything and i don't mean just by the mowers that you buy and equip and use you have to manage maintenance every time you use them the quality of your equipment are going to allow you to do a better job because they will get damaged and wear and tear in a very realistic manner you're going to easily be able to damage people's yards destroy flower beds, anything that you could do with a mower, you can do in this game. Your goal is to really do a good job, keep things clean and keep your customers happy. And it all starts with having perfectly tuned and right equipment for you. Um, certain mowers will have various attachments that you can purchase to make things easier or unlock certain special jobs. What's cool is each mower that you buy and use will actually keep track of statistics so you can see how well you use it and how efficient it is for you. So as you can see this one here makes me on average 430 bucks every time I use it. So it's bringing in profit and makes it worth my while. Now you can also sell vehicles and also exchange them out for better upgrades. There's a ton of different mowers that you can span through in the game and really find the styles that you like. Personally, I like using zero turn mowers. They're just a lot more efficient and easier for me to play with. But maybe you want traditional mowers that require you to really focus on how you're driving and maneuvering. They go range from very cheap to a couple thousand, as you can see here, up to $38,000. And income wise, it's going to take you a while to build up your money. You're going to probably do a good 10 12 contract days before you can even start to really buy and upgrade your stuff and it's really neat now one thing i really like is the game does offer a couple other things that you can do you can also you know make things a little easier and apply for loans as you can see here i do have an outstanding loan that i am slowly repaying as i play the game but that's kind of up to you how you want to do things and really 
which route you want to go with building up your ease. Now, the game does take place in a British countryside, so you're going to see all kind of British-esque, you know, locations, and that's going to kind of be the aesthetics. It'll be cool to see if maybe they add, you know, DLC down the line. Maybe you can have, like, a U.S. mowing DLC or maybe be in some cool places like Australia or, you know, I don't know, like, South America, things like that that can be kind of cool to just see different like houses and aesthetics. Control wise, this game is actually extremely simple and very easy to pick up and play. Most of the time when I play games, I like to be in a third person esque perspective when I'm driving like my vehicles, but it's kind of up to you how you want to do things. I actually spend most of my time on the mower in like a first person point of view, staring at the beginning of my uh, job so I can do things as efficiently and effective. Now, every time you look and do a contract initially you're first going to have to do what's called a ground check you're going to run around pick up some trash and debris and it's just kind of an opportunity for you to do uh, what you need for that job now outside of seeing what you have to do specifically wise for the job you can also hit start at any time and the information here that's very important for you is that cut height range you're going to need to know how much you need to cut the grass the finish time doesn't matter but you have to make sure you cut things to the proper length otherwise the game is simply not going to really credit you anything that you're doing so first thing we do is it's going to be a little hard to see here on the screen but if you look you're going to see that number going down and i'm actually setting the cut height for the blades so i need this to be between seven and eight so we'll get the only number that we can really do we can do 7.6 or seven always kind of do the higher number because it means you're cutting the grass a little taller less work for your mower to do and then you can just kick things into gear we'll ramp up the speed of our mower here and then get it going and what the game does show you is you'll have a progress tracker up top on your screen there that lets you know the overall progression of the yard as well as you're going to get notified on any penalties that you perform while you're playing if you you know cut into flower beds or cause ruts in the ground you're going to get fined for it and it's going to come out of your profit it may not seem like much at a time but when you're first starting out you know every dollar will count as probably any businessman could tell you while you're playing as you can see here this is that kind of first person-esque view that i definitely like and enjoy and i think really makes the game a little more you know driven into that experience of hey i'm actually mowing lawns on my console go figure now achievement wise i wish i could show off a little bit of what the achievements have in the game but unfortunately they're not quite available to show as the you know they're not live on the service at the time of me recording this video i'll kind of show you here it just shows they're not supported uh, I will let you know that they do unlock. There's so far achievements for doing a certain amount of jobs that I've seen, um, getting different, you know, reputation levels, um, and then just kind of doing weird specific contracts or goals. Um, so for the most part, they seem fairly straightforward and nothing too hard. If I have to give this game any type of a rating, you know, based on a simulation game, this game kills it. It hits every single mark that you would want a simulation game to hit. Realistic gameplay, realistic management like everything is on point it's amazingly done and done very very well so i'm going to give it top marks for that visually i think the game looks great the only kind of things i don't really like is honestly it looks a little weird with the cut grass levels where the visuals for uncut grass kind of look all right when you look at this like cut grass it does seem a little off to me and i definitely think that they could have done a little better in those regards now, one thing that I do think is kind of cool is you can simply go here. We'll actually look at the controls because I don't do it too often. But you can get off of your uh, thing and kind of walk around. Why am I so blind to see this? Uh, dismount. Dismount. Let me off. You're supposed to be able to walk around and kind of check and explore things. I can't for some reason get it to work at the time of this. But we're going to go ahead and bounce out of here just for the sake of this video. Just so you can kind of wrap up to hear this review. Like I said, I, I think this game is great. If I have to give this any type of a rating or review for an amazing simulation game, I'm going to give Lawn Mowing Simulator a 9 out of 10. It's great. It's a perfect game that really delivers on everything it promises. It promises a really basic game experience and delivers something that... It's actually very intuitive and really in-depth, and I really like that. See what I did there? Funny play on words. In-depth gaming, in-depth mowing. I know, I'm horrible. But yeah, if you guys do want to pick up the game, we'll try to get a link down in the description where you can pre-order it. There's no, or purchase it, sorry, because it's not currently pre-orderable. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.